trying to change as much as possible. Men don't want to change. They're not accountable oh, no. for themselves. Well, like, Women are happy to change how their appearance. And right, I'll pause this for a second. <clears throat> um, I'm going to preface this by saying that I like some of the things Andrew Tate says. I like some of his more recent content a lot. His older stuff, I'm not a fan of. No, he's an absolute clown. I, I That's how I view him. Mm -hmm. I cannot take him serious because of the way he's created his career as a, a social media influencer. He right. reminds me of a WWF wrestler from the 80s. Yeah, he he thinks that this is he's this massive king on the internet. Right. I just view him as a jester. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Look, but they're not happy. Let me go back because there was pertinent information. Women are trying to change as much as possible. Men don't want to change. They're not accountable oh, no. for themselves. Well, like, Women are happy to change how their appearance and change how they look, but they're not happy to change how they act. They, most. Okay, I'm going to pause that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's be realistic for a minute. In the event that a woman meets a man, starts dating, they settle down. He finds out that she's got a huge Instagram following mm -hmm. and finds out that she's posting thirst traps. Selfies constantly where her tits are out, showing, you know, pictures of her in her underwear with her, you know, butt sticking out, whatever. How long do you think that's going to last where that man is looking at this woman, getting tons of attention from other men and women on the Internet, trying to fill a need in herself because mm -hmm. she's obviously lacking something in life to need to get that kind of dopamine response and that type of attention from somebody? How long do you think it's going to be before he's like, enough is enough? Like, we're together now. Mm -hmm. If you need that attention, you let me know and I'll give it to you. But if you need to get it from other people, I can't stand and, and do this anymore. Right. And you can call it an insecurity if you want. I call it... Respect. I call it, I call it a lot of things, but mm -hmm. respect number one. I call it, you and I are in a relationship now. Mm -hmm. Your body doesn't need to be on the internet for other people. And you definitely don't need to be trying to gain approval and attention from other people outside of our relationship. Mm -hmm. They talk about the Instagram thing a lot on right. shows like this because these women are unwilling to give up their Instagram accounts to be in a relationship. They would rather be single and getting digital attention and booty calls when they need them mm -hmm. than have substance in their life. Right. That shit blows my mind. You know, majority of these women are screaming out, I want a high value man. High value men are not going to accept a woman who does thirst straps on Instagram yeah. and needs to post herself half nude to get attention. If yep. you keep doing that, you're going to keep getting the men that you're getting because a high value man is not even going to look your way. Yep. If you always do what you've always done, you will always get what you've always got. Mm -hmm. I, I know that we have people in our lives that constantly selfie and, and like they're in long term relationships or even married. Yeah. And it takes everything I have in me not to shit on them when they're posting selfies at that angle and make sure their tits are shown to not just be like, why don't you send it to your husband? Right. Why are you posting this on the Internet so that other men can be like, damn, girl, you look good. Mm hmm. Like, don't you think that's a problem? Don't you think that that probably bothers your husband on some level? And even if it doesn't, do you not respect him enough to just not do that? Right. Like, if you need that attention, take that selfie and send it to him. Mm -hmm. Flirt with him. Maybe you'll get some play at the end of the night instead right. of, you know, just some heart reactions on the internet. If I were a dude, I would not want to hear from all of my do friends about how hot my wife is on the internet. Right. You are not wrong. Mm -hmm. You are not wrong. All right, I'm going to run it. Damn, that's a good point. That would bother me. Like, I don't need to see all of my buddies heart reacting your shit. Yeah. My third cousin coming out of nowhere saying, damn, you girl, you look fine. No, yeah, that would bother me. You, you are not wrong. That's a damn good point, babe. Them. They're not yes, happy they to change. Are. Them. No, not. Women are changing. Well, them. Yes, they are. Yeah, that was. That is not a convincing argument. I love this woman, by the way. Oh, yeah. She's fantastic. Women are happy to change how their appearance and change how they look, but they're not happy to change how they act. They, Most of them, they're not yes, happy they to change. Are. No, they're not. <laughs> Women are changing what the men don't care about. The men don't care about the big old lips. Yes, they do. And the, and no, the women are doing that for themselves. Yeah. Because the men don't care about it. The men would rather a woman change her stinking attitude than put on all that makeup and hair and everything. That's what the men want. If you look at a man and the man said, yeah, he's fat. The man will most, if he's feeling bad about himself, he'll go and hit the gym. What's the woman going to do? Go and do Get a BBL, get her lips done, put on her makeup, put on her hair, <laughs> and stay the big old fat person that she is and say, oh, it's body positivity. The women are not getting all this cosmetic surgery for the men. They're getting it. I love her. I do too. And, and you know, it, <laughs> this girl said they do care. So men who care about the big lips. I, I have never come across a man who was like, hey, babe, your lips are too small. Can you go get injections? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm actually, I, I'm grossed out by that. I, I like that's never happened to me. So what kind of people are you hanging around with? Yeah. You know, if, if you're hanging around men who like 
drool all over Instagram and that's all that they get for their attention to women mm-hmm. or whatever, they're going to have that perception of what it needs to be for what it was. Oh, God, I'm all over the place. If the dude is on Instagram and he's seeing all of these women on Instagram who do the fillers and the Botox, that's going to be his perception of what a woman should be. Right. So if you're hanging around men like that who are saying your lips need to be bigger, you need to get a BBL, you know, you need to get a tummy tuck, you need bigger breasts. Why? I, I would not be with a man who tells me I need to get my lips done. Right. You know that aside from like the the um, Botox, it's botulism. You're putting, you're literally putting bacteria in your face. Um, the lip thing, like we we watch, we we actually point that shit out to each other all the time. You think that's from bad lip injections? We do, yeah. I've never seen a woman who has had multiple lip injections where I was like, yeah, that looks really good. Not once. Mm-hmm. It always looks unnatural. There's not a moment that I've seen it and was like, that that looks really great. And in the event that it does look really great, it's because it doesn't look like she has lip injections. It's like a, a, a very small amount to fit her face or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. But after so many injections, you start to get the divot in your upper lip. Y- your face looks screwed up. Like, and <clears throat> I don't know if I said it on this podcast or the one that I started recording earlier and, and wasn't recording on, but men don't. Oh, it was this one. Yeah. Okay. So I don't need to reiterate that point. I don't know if it was this one. Men don't go to the bar and look for the best looking woman to go and try to hit on. They go in and try to find the woman that fits the, what they believe their number is and maybe one or two up. Right. So if a man thinks he's a five, he's going to go to the bar and try to find a five, six or a seven. And then he's going to try to shoot a shot. He may try for an eight if he's been drinking. He's got that liquid confidence, mm. but probably not going to happen. <clears throat> on top of that, when women are at a bar or a nightclub and they're grouped together and we're looking to see which one we think is the most attractive, that may help in that scenario on the initial engagement. Past that initial initial engagement, none of that shit matters. And if you take all, all of those women outside of that group of women and put them by themselves, they're all going to have their own individual beauty that the man was already attracted to. Mm-hmm. Um, so that would be a thing anyways. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but once you have that initial engagement, right? what do you have to offer after that? Because if all you have is big lips and a big ass, there's no sustenance there. That's like eating junk food. I want right. nourishment. I want long-term survival and nourishment. You mm-hmm. keep me fed, babe. I'm not trying to... I don't want the artificial sweeteners and all the bullshit that comes along with it. I want that quality. And if you don't have that quality, I don't want it. So what's the point in all that? You're not doing it for us. You're doing it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Women are doing that shit for them. We don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, oh, I did it. I, I agree. I, I certainly think that most women get things done to make themselves feel better about themselves because they're constantly comparing themselves to other women. Right. How can I change myself to look better than I am now? Right. It's the wrong thought process in it. And they're trying to compete with supermodels that are photoshopped. Oh, God, and, yeah. And all the money that they've spent on their body being plastic to, to do what they're doing. And then the ones who can't afford to do that get depressed because they believe that that's what a woman's supposed to look like. Right. I've been really good about pushing this button and getting these camera angles going, and I just caught my, 